Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert. I want to show you the workflow I use when using RX4 in standalone mode with PreSona Studio One. Now you can use RX as a plugin, but the great thing about using it in standalone mode is you can use additional features and much more precise processing. And so it's nice to be able to get stuff in and out of it from Studio One's timeline and then back in later. So I've got a piece of audio here which has a plosive on the timeline. Now I could use uh, tools within Studio One, but it's just it's just something I can use now just to show you what I want to do. It's, it's from a podcast that I've got here. And there's a few things I need to do to set up before I start. The first thing I want to do is I want to be able to monitor RX4 through Studio One when I am working in it without coming out of Studio One. So there's a great plugin from the guys over at Isotope called RX4 Monitor, and I've pulled that in and created it as an, an FX input just by dragging and dropping on the console. And now that means that if I've got this set up correctly in RX4, then I can hear the playback of RX via the mixer and console within Studio One. And to do that, you need to make sure that in RX4, you come here, you go to Preferences, and you want to make sure that the driver type for the output device is not Core Audio, but RX Monitor. There. It can't be ASIO and it can't be Core Audio, it's got to be RX Monitor. That now means that when you use RX Monitor as a plugin, it will come back and it will play back through here. So find RX4 Monitor and drag and drop it in and then you'll have it. If it isn't set up properly, you will see that saying disconnected instead of connected. Okay, so now we've got that set up, the next thing we need to do is get the audio out of here, into there, do the work we want to do on it and then back into Studio One. So of course you could export the audio and you could drag it into there, you could do your work and send it out. But there's a nice little round trip you can do using Event FX. Now Event FX means that if we come here and grab any bit of audio, we can then we can then add events here. If I drop them down as we work on them. So I'm going to go to Browse. I'm going to find the VST3 version of RX4 Connect. So if you click here and you look down here, it says 2. That's VST3. So I drag that in and drop it there. Now, what I want to do then is I want to send the audio one way is what I want to do it from here into there, and then I'm going to work on it. So what I then do is hit render, and now that piece of audio is here in RX, and I can play it. Disappeared, dis disappeared, 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 dis coming back here disappeared, now. Disappeared, 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 the monitor. disappeared, 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 disappeared. So what I want to do now is I want to quickly do the, the edit that I want to do. And what I'm going to do is going to use a quick trick. If you don't know about this about plosives, the great way is to use click gain and just pull down the front of that plosive. Disappeared. Disappeared. Dis and it's disappeared. That's what I wanted to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export that file. Export. Doesn't matter where I put it, I'm going to put plosive fix onto the desktop. Now, what I do is I can drag that into here. Let's lose that for a while. Make this full screen, Let's zoom in a little bit. So there's the old one, there's the new one. And if I've got my snap to snap to events on, what I can do is bring that in to there. And the fix is there. Might have disappeared, might have disappeared, might have disappeared. And here's the original again. Might have disappeared. So there we are. That is how to get the audio out of here, into RX, out of RX, and then back into Studio One. It's a nice little workflow, and it's the workflow that I use when using RX with Studio One. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.